Well, hey everyone. Sorry I've been gone for a while. But uh, I was just watching the Olympic Games. They started on Friday. And the, the, the opening ceremony was really nice. Although it took a while. It took a long time for all the countries and all the participants to go in and make their entrance. But uh, regardless of that, oh, and another point that uh, there was this uh, supermodel that made the an entrance, right? She uh, she went through the catwalk, and I was watching some reviews, and there were a lot of people criticizing her and making just negative comments about her, saying that it was dumb that she walked so for so long which you know just looking at the at the words that they use makes you realize that their opinions are not really worth it because not to be rude to anyone I, I think all human beings are important and that they should be listened to but if someone comes out with an argument saying that's dumb then that what can I say their opinion it's not really reproductive. It won't. It will not help you in any way if they just tell you that's dumb. They just don't like it for some reason. Maybe they're jealous that they 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 are not the ones doing it. I feel that's why most people say that's dumb because they cannot come up with a good excuse because there's really no good excuse. It was something per perfectly fine, yet they just they were just jealous that it wasn't them or for any other reason not just jealousy but then anyways I was looking at the Olympic Games and I was looking at the gymnasts or the gymnastics section and I mean all of those guys are really big they're they're really uh, bulky and stout which it made me think oh Maybe I should start doing gymnastics so I can get uh, as big as them. But then it made me realize that, well, it's not just just that you're going to start doing gymnastics and in a week you're going to be big, you're going to have huge biceps. No, it's not like that. You have to work through, you, work, you have to work for years and years to even get to a, a medium level, to even get for your muscles to start noticing so so I think maybe maybe that's why uh, a lot of people and when I say a lot of people I include myself because I used to have that mentality so that's what I mean so when I say a lot of people I, I mean what I used to think and what people I talk to also think which is not that many I mean sometimes I talk to people on the street or on the bus while well, I wait for the bus or you know at the mall if someone's sitting next to me I'll start talking to them so so it's mostly public opinion people I don't I don't know so that's what I talk to them so I can I can I know what their opinion is what their mentality is what they think about the world Maybe they look at it in a different way, but mostly I I talk to them to see what kind of attitudes I shouldn't have, because this is something that Abraham Lincoln said, and he's, he said something like, I learn something from everyone, but most of the times it's something I don't want to do, or I don't want to be. So that means he learned that he learns something from from everyone. So if you meet a bum on the street and you start talking to them, you learn not to be lazy, for example. So that's that's what he means, or or not to be a gossiper, or not to be a, any other defect. You know, uh, I try not to um too much. Or say you know at the end of my conversations but I always do it well sometimes I've been trying to to really 
be very precise on noticing them and if I do I'll start I'll stop mid in the midpoint of doing it but uh, I lost track of what I was saying I always get distracted or I digress from the main point and forget what I was even talking about but well it was about the, the gymnastics section in the Olympics right so yeah like you cannot start something and hope that in a week or two even a month or two or even you know what even in a year or two think that you're gonna make it big that you're gonna be making huge amounts of money or you're gonna gonna have a lot of success in that area of your life which is just not true nothing good comes uh, comes fast or like the Amish say a fence that's built fast goes down fast but one that's built slow and with care it's, it's gonna stand for a long time so always think about that if something comes fast or it's it brings you a a very fast satisfaction then maybe it's not worth doing it just like eating pizza or hamburger ice cream all of those foods are good I love pizza and I love hamburger and I adore ice cream it's delicious but you know what I don't need it I don't need it because I know it's bad and I have a goal I I set a goal and I plan on doing it which is to be a a fitness model or an actor I would like to be a like a movie star in in action movies you know ah, I said it again anyway like John Claude Van Damme or Scott Atkins I'm I'm a huge fan of them honestly I don't I haven't read anything about them besides uh, a little bit about JCVD but but not too much you know <sighs> but not too much besides but that that is not the point I don't need to to know everything about them to know what it what it is that they did to be successful I just have to look at them and and watch the movies to know what they did and well for an obvious point is that they didn't start acting until they were about uh, in their 20s so that means that I have to wait if even if uh, John Club and them which he won a martial arts contest I think in, in his whole country in Belgium I'm not sure if that's where he was born but but he won a, a big contest contest about martial arts or karate if that's what he was doing uh, when he was 18 so if he was even even if he was that good it took him a while to become a movie star imagine how long it would take for someone like me which I'm not a I haven't won anything in martial arts or in fitness or pretty much any other aspect of my life which is sad it saddens me a lot when I think about that because I used to have that entitlement that I believe many people have but I used to have it where I thought I I deserved something for no reason but now I know that I don't deserve anything honestly what what unless like what what do I do to deserve something so unless I get it by myself without asking anyone or or getting help from anyone then, then why should I deserve having it that's how I think about it and I don't mean getting help from anyone like like I don't need anyone or oh I'm I'm too good to need help no I mean like help from my
parents, you know, if I ask, if I ask them, hey, help me on my schoolwork or help me or give me a ride here, no, like that's not what I mean. I mean for something. Well, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I mean when I say I don't need help. Like for little things, but for big things, you do need help. I need help for big things too, which I haven't started, so I don't see why. Why well, I would even start asking for help. Like, I've read books for people who say they have a big idea, they have a, a billion dollar idea, but it makes me think, well, someone else said it, so that's where I'm getting it from. But, you know, it makes you think well, have you ever made a $100 idea? Or have you ever had a $100 idea? Or a $1,000 idea? An idea that made you $100 or an idea that made you $1,000. So if you can, if you haven't had an idea like that, how all of a sudden are you gonna have a billion dollar idea? Which makes no sense. It would be like saying I can do a thousand push-ups without ever doing a hundred push-ups that would make absolute no sense it's uh, obviously i won't be able to do a thousand push-ups if i cannot even do a hundred push-ups so always think about what others say don't judge too quickly but don't be don't don't be too slow to judge either always be on time and that was just uh, my small talk for today all right and if you like what what i like if you like what i say then please subscribe i would always like to chat with you guys leave some comments to see what you think about it maybe you can help me out on topics or on on filler filler words so i'm not saying um or you know all, all the time. So well, thank you very much and have a good night.